Here it is, 10th place. We're doing just a little better. Uh, just a little better out of what? Over like, I think it was like 53 people today. So we're doing a little better. Last time we were 13, so uh, I did some tweaks. So let's go ahead and get into this deck list. The timer. It's Michael Bowden back again, aka Destiny Hero Mike. And welcome back to D Time! We're here, baby. It is always D Time. In more ways than one. And yes, we are back with the updated Neos, Pure Neos deck list and uh, everything. So everybody's been asking for it a lot. I've been getting a lot of requests for the updated deck list. So uh, here it is. And by the way, this token, this awesome token, I got it from my good man Cody. I want to make sure his link is down in my description because I think he's just one of the best players in Yu-Gi-Oh. Probably, like, period, currently. Uh, definitely in all of Las Vegas, he's one of the uh, best players. It's like he's our very own pack. He, he's, he's a very good teacher, and he's a very kind guy. So check his ch Like, I really want him to start making more YouTube videos, man. Because this guy, he travels, and he, he plays for real, for real. And I got this token from him. You know, and this this token is no longer in print. Uh, this Jaden token is no longer in print, and he really hooked it up. And he's just one of the best players in Vegas. And I, and I do not say that lightly. I do not say that just to throw it around. I don't say that about very many people very often. Please go check him out, dope dude. And also, before we get into the deck list, big shout out to the memberships. And I know there's a new one, so shout out to you, my guy. So you're definitely in here amongst the. Shout out the special thanks list so you should see yourself amongst the names. And I really appreciate those who attended the live stream. The live stream was awesome. So I'm thinking I'm just I'm, I'm thinking about a schedule. I might do a uh, a post. I might do um, a free to comment stream live stream and a members only live stream. And then also the members only uh, live stream. Anybody can watch the member only live stream, but you can only comment if you're a member. And also I do. Uh, membership duel. So if you're a, a member, yes, we will do duels too for the membership live duel. So I'm going to do two kind of duels, just ba basically a general live stream and a members only live stream. So that is what's also coming up. I just need to figure out the right scheduler for that. So I might put a poll up for you guys to see, you know, what days work best for you guys as, as, as well as myself. So without further ado, let's finally go ahead and get into this deck list. All right, so we're gonna start off with the. I'm gonna move this to the side. So we're, we're gonna start off with the Elemental Hero Stratos, okay? Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. This is again back to my my little hero package. And so the soldier, uh, the Liquid Soldier. This time now, there's only two Shadow Mists. So last time I was playing three, now I'm back to playing one. And for the new edition, it's about the same monster count. Elemental Hero Blaze Man. Yes, I am playing Elemental Hero Blaze Man now. So I had to figure out something because sometimes three Shadow Mist obviously was kind of a you know it, it could kind of clog, and if you like you know you don't want to draw two Shadow Mist, or if you already use Shadow Mist effect for the turn, it's kind of dead. And then I also didn't really like the idea of Vion because it's like, okay, what do I send to the graveyard? Vion can really only send heroes, but so can Shadow, uh, so can Blazeman. But unlike Vion, Blazeman is an actual a hero lives target, so that's a polymerization. This deck is usually just locked into fusions most of the time, anyway. So and he's a different element. He's a uh, fire inherently, really good defense, eighteen. So and if I really need to, I can send a Shadow Mist if I really need to. Um, you know, especially if I already have poly or something like that. So a hero lives equals polymerization just off rip without having to do the whole vision hero engine, the whole vision hero combo, you know, the, the, the Ferris and the increase just to get to Vion to get to poly, you know, so, uh, he, he's very solid in my opinion. So feels good. He's another a hero lives target and another e emergency call target. Uh, for, you know, free of cost. I just get polymerization just like that. I just summon a polymerization, no problem. So that's my little hero package there. Now we're going to get into the Neos package. 
So just like last time, one spirit of Neos, two uh, regular Neos, and that ratio was perfect for me. And then we get into the one Grand Mole, one Aqua Dolphin, one Dark Panther. Still perfect for me, this ratio, really good. Still triple cross keeper, really good. And that's pretty much the the entire hero count. That's the entire hero count. So yeah. There's so many different crazy mixed plays you could do with Blaze Man. So and, and he's less commitment, in my opinion, for this deck, so he's perfect. Finally, you guys really wanted to see some of the hand traps. Boom! Two DD Crow main deck, two Ash main deck. So that is the monster count. I've started to finally like, okay. I now since I've played this deck with zero hand trap, I can start to see okay, okay, I can cut I can cut this, I can cut that. So I, man, if I can even remember where I cut, I cut one of the favorite contact. I cut one of man, I cut a call by the grave, because it's like, okay, why play call by the grave when I can just play a crow and hit a card on their turn, uh, in this format. Um and there was an there was a the one of mass change when I can just ash. It was the same thing for crow. So those are pretty much what I took, and I took out a favorite contact, as well as one um, instant contact. So that's uh, what helped me make room for me here for these. Uh, just it's just really four hand traps, but you guys will see as, uh, and, and it works very well. So I like it. First, second is really good. Also, these guys are very good for Nebula Neos. You know, you draw, boom, draw into more hand traps, boom. There's your. Uh, that's another reason to go into your Nebula Neos. So, yeah. That's working. It's pretty... And the reason why I'm only doing four... Because I don't want to draw, like, three and not be able to play. Or draw two of the same hand traps and not be able to play. You know? I don't want to clump up on my hand traps. So, I think four... For this deck, which really, again... The playstyle of this deck is not supposed... You're not really supposed to play hand traps that way like that. So, if you do, just make sure it's a smaller amount. So... And I think this can these can really get there in clutch. So... That's what we're doing here. On to the spells. Three engaged Neo Space. We've gone over that in the last video. Three Neo Fusion. And by the way, I've perfected uh, or I've made the Cosmo Neos, as you guys see in the thumbnail, I've made Cosmo Neos more consistent. So we're going to get to how that is in just a second. I'm going to show you guys a play, a combo that I learned from OCG which I'm going to link. Also, I'm going to link that channel in the description as well. These guys are very underrated. These guys have high production. Okay, you know, they, they, they don't have captions, but they have, like, English captions, but they have high production, and you understand what they're talking about because they're just talking about heroes and hero combos, so it kind of walks itself, but these guys are awesome. So I'm going to leave these guys in the description. You go check that channel out. It's, these guys are criminally underrated. They're under 1,000 subscribers, so please... Tell them I sent you. They might. They don't have. They have no idea who I am. I'm just, you know, a, a TCG player. But tell them I sent you if you go visit them and subscribe and comment and whatnot. So, three Neos fusion. That's essential to the turn skip or the Nebula Neos uh, advantage. Two uh, instant contact. We were doing three. Now we can knock it down to two now since we got the hang of it and it is searchable. Same for. Favorite contact. I know a lot of Tribe decks, they will only play two revolts. So now I'm down to two favorite contact. Same exact reason. It is searchable. So that is the Neos uh, spell and trap support package. And then now we go on to our hero engine. That's the way I have this broken up in segments. Three emergency calls. Why play three shower mists when I already have three e-calls? So two shower mists is perfect. Three a hero lives. Guys, I'm, I love this card. I don't where now. I don't know where you're gonna be able to find the room for Ian Shuffle, but currently I don't. I've upset some people in the last one of my last dual videos. I I got people coming at me condescending and kind of like I don't want to say the hate word, but they 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 I I, I touched a nerve because I I because I I have my reservation. I voiced my reservation about Ian Shuffle. Ian Shuffle is a decent extender, so like okay. I'd probably rather even play Ian Wave than continue a spell card. I get a body from the deck. If I'm going to fuse anyway, I get a body from the deck. Ian Shuffle, I have to already have a body. And it's not a starter. I'm sorry. A Hero Lives is just a much better starter. If we're going to compare the two in terms of space. 
in terms of deck space, if we're going to compare the two, eight hero lives is much better. I'm sorry. It gets me a, a, into a blazement if I need and a palmer, an instant polymerization without doing the vision, without needing to go into a vision hero uh, play of any sort. So now I feel like it's even, the deck is even more solved. I was even to fit in more uh, hand traps over the Ian Shuffle. Sorry, I'm just not, I'm probably not going to play Ian Shuffle. I might test it. And it is searchable with the with the spirit of neos it is technically searchable but then it's just like by the time you summon by the time you summon spirit of neos you should already have everything you need what more do you really need you have more than one way of summoning the uh spirit of neos outside of engage you have the crosskeeper so i don't know what more what other what you're gonna try to dig for with uh ian shuffle i don't know maybe you know try it out hey look for you, you know, if that worked for you, but doesn't, I, I, I'm still have my reservation until otherwise. And you got your one Rota, two Palmerization, the one Miracle Fusion, and two Droplet. And since I have two Droplet, you know, again, we don't really need to go um, hand trap heavy. So, and that's that deck list there. And let's go ahead and get right on into the extra deck. And as you guys saw, I, we took, 10th place, four rounds, three one, and so that's pretty good out of what 53, 56 players, uh, like in the beginning clip. So this this performed much better in my opinion. So, all right, so we're gonna do our starter monsters, okay? So first, Sunrise, Brave Neos, Wingman, and get ready for it, Inferno Deceiver. A lot of people, I know some of you guys are saying, ah, I told you so, but yes. This helps perfect the lock. This helps perfect the Cosmo Neos or the Nebula Neos line. It, it, it for for turns that you cannot go into the uh, engage or if this this sometimes this play can be better than just an in, just the engage play. So now we have two lines. We have a link line or the engage line. Either way, we're getting one of them. Can't do both, but we're getting one of them either way. So. Yeah, this guy helps us perfect the, as some of you guys were saying in the comments, this guy helps us perfect the Cosmo Neo. So I actually took some of you guys' advice. But really, I learned it from the OCG combo. I Yeah, it, it was really the OCG combo. And I'm going to show you guys right after this. So um, so there's that. These are our starters. That's what we're going to so I, this is the, the deck is broken down deliberately in such a way. So th these, are our, these are the fusions that we're going to bring out usually, you know, as we start. For starters so and then we have our neos fusions these are really just neo space i mean uh neos fusion targets people say hey why why uh dark neos just in case because what if i need to send the dark the dark panther how do i get dark panther to graveyard when i have favorite contact so i can do the uh cosmo lock you need him you know you want to have him as a um you, you want to have him as a material and uh, same, and then same goes for Aqua Neos and Grand uh, Neos. And the real reason why we play Air Neos is so that pay one thousand and summon the Air Neos for free and OTK possibly because obviously we're playing a hero lives, and then you combo that up with uh, instant contact, and then boom, that's already five thousand off your life points. So and so he's gonna do some damage and clutch, and you obviously you have your Neos in the graveyard and or on the field. And he's going to be able to attack. His effect is not negated, and he can just finish off the game with just one card. So, one shot. That is this is so. This is the Dex Trinity off of just one card. So, uh, that's why we play that. We can just cheat him out easily. And now our game enders. Triple uh, Shiny Nails Wingman. You guys saw some of the setups that you can do with him. He's just insane. Neville Neos. Grant, uh, the uh, Cosmo Neos, he's just uh, in all be all. So these are our, obviously these are our fusion, our favorite, fu our favorite contact targets. So except with this guy, he's unique. He's the he's the best one in my opinion because he's just so easy to summon with polymerization and miracle, as in addition to miracle contact. But these typically in the game. So these typically in the game. And so there's that. And then and then lastly, your extras, Mir your, your Miracle Fusion extras. You just want to have extra targets. You have a dark, uh, you play a lot of E-Heroes, so it's pretty decent for Escarito. 
As you guys see, I'm not doing any mass uh, change uh, combos or anything like that. This is just pure raw beatdown. And by the way, you want to say, oh, Grandma, uh, uh, or, you know, what, what does this deck do against Dark Law? Uh, Grandma? Yeah, yeah, we can just Grandma. So, <laughs> or just Neo's Fusion or something and get rid of deals in that way. So we have more than one way of dealing with problem monsters, uh, problem floodgate monsters. So there's that. And let's get into the extra deck or the side deck. So just our board breakers, triple twin twister, three dark ruler no more, three token collector. And yes, this was a great idea about when someone said that you could send token collector with the uh, Neos fusion. That's that's just dope because brave Neos requires only a level four lower monster. It doesn't say warrior or hero. Level four lower monster. So boom, you can send a free token collector against Sword Soul. So with Neos fusion, triple evenly match. The one red reboot because we want to stop the the that the 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 um, dimension barrier or or even anti spell fragrance, rainbow dragon, rainbow neos. So that's the side deck because going second rainbow rainbow neos is going best going second. And yes, I'm aware that I cannot summon you cannot summon rainbow neos and use the cross keeper. So some of you guys want to be uh, buttholes. I'm gonna say it, buttholes, condescending buttholes in a comment about it. Some of you, the ones who were like cool about it, thank you. But the ones who were like just straight up buttholes about it, don't get ran up off the comment section. Real talk, don't get ran up off the comment section. We know we don't need to beat a dead horse. Like the the, the second I make a mistake on a brand new card, that just makes your day. I, oh, 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 this is the moment I've been waiting for. Yeah, I'm about to tear him in two. Yeah, yeah, he finally made one mistake because I'm perfect. Yeah, don't get ran up off the comment section. You will get dealt with. I, I don't care. This is my channel. All right, sorry about that. On to the combo. Okay, so for combo number one, this is just a two card combo to get into Nebula Neos. So this is one of the Nebula Neos lines. Of course, there's more than one way to get into Nebula Neos thanks to uh, Neos Fusion, but this is a set play that I, uh, and this is what I learned from the OCG channel. So again, in the description, check these guys out. I just love their production. It's awesome. It's very cute and it's just very clean and crisp. So we normal summon straddles. This is just off of a normal summon. We, or if you have a hero lives, so crosskeeper, a hero lives, or straddles, that works the same way, or e emergency call, that also works the same way. So normal summon the straddles, and we go at our spears and needles from deck to hand. You see, right, you see that? Then we use our crosskeeper's effect to discard itself for cost to the graveyard to special summon our elemental hero needles from the hand to the field. Then we will use the elemental hero needles' effect to add our favorite contact to hand, okay? The next thing we do is we use Neos' effect, we tag him back to the deck, and we special summon the OG Elemental Hero original Neos, and then we link these two off for our good boy. And let's go ahead and get him. The Infernal Deceiver, we'll put him on this side, it's fine, and we'll pop off Infernal Deceiver's effect we're gonna go ahead and reveal the Nebula Neos and, Nebu and from the extra deck. And then we will go ahead and add our two Neospatians from deck to hand, our Dark Panther and our Grand Mole. And you see that? So two cards, net is three. And now that he, so this setup is disgusting because you're gonna set and end your turn. And then you're gonna wait for them to get at least two cards on the board. Two or three cards on the board. Then you go ahead and favorite contact. Place these two to the bottom. These three to the bottom, my apologies. And you bring out your Nebula Neos. Okay. And the Nebula Neos is going to... Well, first of all, you're going to chain link one Nebula Neos. So it, it, will, it will be harder to negate his effect. And chain link two Cross Keeper. So they have like a, a Ogre. Well, I think they missed their Ogre because the Cross Keeper, the Ghost Ogre... Because the cross keeper is activating, which interrupts the um, the timing of the ghost ogre, or you know something like that. And then you're going to go ahead and get your, for example, they have at least two cards in the field. So let's be realistic. Let's say three. That's you, you want to wait till three. So you draw your three, and then your cross keeper. You draw two more, and then you replace one to the bottom of the deck. And now you have four cards in hand. And that's that's why I call this a game ender because now by then you should win. There should be no excuse that you, that, you, that you lose. And then, by the way, as you guys saw, we're, we're playing hand traps. I draw my Ash. I draw my DD Crow. You know, my devastating 
a late DD Crow that's going to mess them up mid combo. So that's combo number one. All right, and we have combo number two, the turn skip, the Cosmo line, the uh, Cosmo Neos line. So we go ahead and normal summon the Stratos. It's very, it's very, very similar to the first combo, except now you have an extra step. Now, Cosmo Neos is always going to require more, so he needs three cards or three Neos Spatians. Well, he's going to need one more card at least. There's just no other way around that, depending on how you open. But this is a turn skip going first. So... Well, you probably are already seen the line. We know some of the Stratos, and we use the Stratos to search our Spirit of Neos. Then we use our Cross Keeper to discard, special summon the Spirit of Neos, Spirit of Neos effect. Go ahead and get our favorite contact. Then we'll use, now you have an option to tag him back to the deck. It's optional, you don't have to, but just so that you don't hard draw, hard draw the other Neos, you can just to thin the deck out. So you can tag him back and get your Neos. It's optional, but you probably should tag him back because you don't want Spirit of Neos in the graveyard. And if you, if you have Spirit of Neos in the graveyard, there's no way to really uh, recycle him. So, yeah, tag him back. And then we go ahead and link off into the Infernal Deceiver again. Same exact thing. We're going to go ahead and reveal our Nebula Neos. And we're going to use his effect to add the Dark Panther and the Grand Mole to hand. So, there's that. And then, you guys see... So we now we have an option. Do we want to draw and negate, or do we just want to skip the turn? Obviously, we want to skip the turn. So we already, but we have option. The fact that we even have an option is crazy. And this is why we play two Neos. So then we go Neos Fusion, send the Neos, and the Aqua Dolphin. Four. We're gonna go ahead and bring out the Brave Neos. And that's why that's a starter card. That, that's why Brave Neos is more so of a starter monster. And then that way he's not going to be bouncing back so that you have your uh, follow-up to attack and kill him the next turn. And then you set your favorite contact in your turn. So during your... You could have drawn two, by the way. But you can also... Or you can wait for the next turn. Just for more chain blocking if you want. So I wouldn't draw two. I would just... I, maybe I would just wait. And then favorite contact on their... Standby phase, do it on the standby phase. So you return one of the Neos, return the Aqua Dolphin, and the rest of your hand to the deck, to the bottom of the deck, and you bring out your, where is he at? Cosmo Neos. And you can summon him anywhere. You don't have to summon him where the Infernal Deceiver points to. Cosmo Neos, negate their effect. So chain link one, Cosmo Neos, chain link two, the cross keeper and you're going to draw two cards and put one to the bottom of the deck so you're going to plus one here and turn their turn off and your next following turn you should have enough to follow up and finish them off for good so and that concludes this deck list deck profile and some of what you can do to make this deck a bit more consistent give it a try let me know what you guys think let me know what some ideas you guys have i'm playing infernal deceiver over the elemental Hero prisma because he's a lot easier to summon in my opinion and i also think the blazeman is just such a good normal and special summon from something like a hero lives so let me know what you guys are doing in the comments and yeah